Good evening. The Spring Street Bridge was originally supposed to be finished by Saturday, but if you've been around that area, you know there is still work that needs to be done. And it will take a little more than another month before everything is finished. Crews had delays because of utility relocation problems. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday talked to a business owner and a couple of University of St. Francis students to see how this prolonged project is affecting them. Lamar? Mark and Heather, it's no big secret. Everyone is waiting for this project to be done, but until then, they have to keep making adjustments. Classes at University of St. Francis start next week. Oh. When everyone returns, they'll be greeted with closures, detours, and maybe some delays. When I'm trying to go towards town and stuff, it's kind of just hard. Like going, you have to go around, kind of like plan it out ahead. Football and weight training. I know we have to go all the way around the block to get there. For the Spring Street Bridge to get there, it will now take another month instead of being completed by Saturday. Pushing it back a month? Yeah. Wow. I feel like they could have had this done a long time ago. The county says the bridge itself is done. All that needs to be done now are the approaches and sidewalks. Along that bridge, the Deer Park Irish Pub, which has taken a huge hit in business due to the construction, resulting in a 22% decline in sales last month. We are weathering it uh, with, with great spirit, as, as the Irish always do. We, we are fighting Irish. Construction started last October, and some say extending the completion date one more month won't do any harm. Yes, it is what it is, and when they finish it, they finish it. And that's the attitude some are having at this point. A section of Leesburg Road is also blocked off. University of St. Francis officials say students and staff can visit the university's website for alternative ways to get to or around campus. The new completion date is September 28th. All right, thanks for the update, Lamar.